meat as long as he did what? Did not eat the blood because the life of the animal was in the blood. Again, just total ban in Palestine on the communion idea. Eating the body and blood or drinking the blood of Christ Jesus, that would just be out of the question in Palestine. That's correct. Out of the question in the Dead Sea Scrolls too. Out of the question, I think, in the letter of James, in the rulings of James, abstain from, how does he put it? Fornication, things sacrificed to idols, strangled things, and blood, or the other way around, abstain from blood. Those are the rulings of James in Acts 15 and 21. Acts 15 and Acts 21, the end of the Jerusalem Conference. Even Acts admits that you're not to eat blood. Well, then how do you get, you know, even a symbolic consumption of blood? I don't think you do for Palestinian Christians, overseas Christians, okay. Because it's in Paul's letters. Uh, it's in uh, 1 Corinthians. Uh, this is my body and blood, my blood. Drink this in memory of me and so on. It's in 1 Corinthians 11 or something. We don't have time to do all that. That's historical Jesus. But the point is that you couldn't... You, even in the Noah story, there are two lines of the uh, text line that are conflated together. If you do an Old Testament course, you can see it with me. One we call the E line, the other we call the Y line, the always line, the always line. And if you, you can actually un, unconflate them. And the thing is that the second line realized that you couldn't go two by two into the ark. One line has you go two by two in the ark, but it probably didn't have the sacrifice at the end of the ark. So the problem is the, the, the line that has the sacrifice at the end of the line has to go of the clean animals, of the unclean animals, one by one, or, you know, two by two. But of the clean animals, seven each. You've got to have enough animals there for no to sacrifice without ending the species. So the one line realizes that, changes the numbers. I know I'm puzzling you. You guys don't know the story that well, but you do, and so you, you understand that. But that's why we, that's what we do in Old Testament class. We show the different lines. How many have done an Old Testament class with me on this? You've done it. But you saw the different lines. Okay, so you saw the lines in an Old Testament class. That's good. So the point is that uh, that story is a famous conflation of two different lines. Okay, so now, shortly afterwards, the king sent an old man from Athens to compel, so, so the point is, I should finish up here about why the temple sacrifice was not functioning in a proper manner any longer, and probably was not functioning at all. Therefore, in my view, the permission to eat meat and probably vegetables of a cultivated cumin had been withdrawn. And only with the reestablishment of the temple sacrifice, which was the continuation of the Noah propitiation situation, were you once more permitted to eat meat. So the vegetarianism is not an ascetic vegetarianism. It's a vegetarian contingent upon a polluted world. Uh, a world where the temple has been defiled. So he only eats wild plants because those are things growing of themselves. Now, I think John the Baptist probably behaved in exactly the same way. And I think the scroll people probably were very similar. And uh, I, I think John is a representative person on the scrolls, but we'll get to that later. But the point is that um, John is pictured as eating only honey and locusts. Well, what happened when there were no honey around? And suppose the locusts weren't swarming. What did he eat? I'm not sure. Some people have questioned whether that locust is a proper translation from Hebrew into Greek. May have been some sort of, uh, so I read some, uh, I think Robert Eisler's Messiah of Jesus and John the Baptist suggested that it's actually a, a, a translation from Hebrew into Greek of a, of a word that meant uh, some kind of honey cake of some kind. In any case, I, I don't think John ate locusts, frankly. I don't think he sat boiling up locusts, frankly. I think that probably is a mistake in the tradition. More like Judas Maccabee, wild things, things growing up themselves. In any case, he couldn't live on locusts, because who knows if there were any locusts in the season that he was 
going around. So, I mean, that's just not an accurate presentation. That's, uh, you know, you know, it's good enough, but I don't think it's, I think this is more accurate in terms of what these wilderness dwelling people would have done. Now, I don't know if John is in this tradition, you'll have to decide for that. So, the point is that they're eating things growing of themselves because those are not polluted. Okay, so now here we get the information that he sent the man to the Jews to have them abandon their ancestral customs and live no longer by the law of God, 6-2, and profane temple in Jerusalem and dedicated to the Olympian Zeus, and also the sanctuary in Mount Gerizim, the Samaritan sanctuary. So that's how we know that it was dedicated to the Olympian Zeus. That's the abomination of the desolation of Daniel. And we're going to hear presently that he actually erected a statue of the Olympian Zeus in the temple. Now here are some really bad things going on here. Uh, the temple was filled with debauchery, prostitution, no Sabbath keeping, they ate the sacrificial entrails, a decree was issued, Good picture of the times. In the neighboring cities, obliging them to share these meals, executing all who did not voluntarily conform to Greek customs. For example, two women were charged with having circumcised their children. They were paraded publicly around the town with their babies hung around their breasts and hurled over the city wall. Do you believe that? No, well, it's lurid, but it's possible. That's what they would do, I'm sure, in lots of places. Uh, the Nazis did uh, many, ten, uh, 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 I would say, three million times worse than that. Other people assembled in caves to keep the seventh day without attracting attention were denounced and all burned there together since their consciences, Paul used the word conscience as a euphemism for the law, would not allow them to defend themselves. So, they did not yet know that they could fight on the Sabbath. That shows how alien they were to being a military people at this time. Because I'm sure in David's time they fought on the Sabbath. If you didn't fight on the Sabbath, you're gonna be attacked on the Sabbath all the time. And you're gonna be killed. So uh, what do we have? Back to Maccabees 1. What's the first ruling Mattathias makes? That they can fight on the Sabbath in a defensive manner to protect life. Later on, Jesus is pictured as doing the same thing. Uh, 